Just imagine, you've got a drone in a box, environmentally sealed, and you can view it and fly it from anywhere in the world. Let's go! This is a very complex system. It's gonna require professional installation. It has to be uh, at least five meters, I think 15 feet from there. You're gonna to need to partner with somebody that uh, has done this type of work. And we'll have some barriers along there. Just think of the opportunities and the application that that brings. That's gonna change everything. So all our power and ethernet's gonna come for, for the box and they come from here. Come down here, we'll, we'll wire it straight into the box. You're gonna need electrical. Uh, so you're gonna need a licensed electrician. This doesn't just have a three-pronged plug that plugs into the wall. We have a breaker here if we need to shut off power here. This is another breaker. Three breakers is just uh, three protection points from that, that guard shed to here, and then it has its breaker on its own to protect itself. You're gonna need internet, so you may need IT resources. We're gonna be testing Starlink uh, in the future, so uh, stay tuned for that. Let's see how that works. It's good. All right, moment of truth. UPS. So it just charges the UPS, so it should be on. There needs to be some understanding of the environment around the dock. A 20 degree angle um, needs to be clear. So that should be a perfect 20 degree angle clear of this fence. You know, what you don't want is the dock running into an obstacle either on takeoff or landing. So you want to make sure you have a, a safe zone. It's saying alternate landing site not set. So there needs to be consideration of a secondary landing spot that's uh, in close proximity to the dock. Just in case something happens where the dock doesn't open or maybe it's raining and you don't want the dock to open, obviously security is a consideration too. So that needs to be part of your planning. It's not much different than installing an air conditioner at your house or something like that. So it's There's software. Uh, we're gonna be testing DJI's Flight Hub 2 but also there's another product, a US product called FlightBase, and we're gonna be testing that product as well. Both are cloud-based and very full-featured. You can mount this anywhere in the world. That's gonna change everything. It's gonna change the processes in multiple industries, multiple applications. <laughs>